Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Uh, today I am working on index card number two for the Create with Scrimping Mommy Challenge from Facebook. And this week's prompt is anything with wings. W-I-N-G-S. So I'm going to take some old, I'm going to take some new items this is the index card. Um, now, this is a larger one, so I have to cut it down to four by six, which I really wasn't thinking. I was actually, it's been a rough day. I did a earlier video on my dream, my dream book, and uh, yeah, it was just kind of a crazy, crazy day. I would have loved to have, let me just make sure this is right. Yeah, four by six. Um, I would have loved to have used, and I may have to change this all around now, um, the larger, but I guess, you know what, I can have this come off of my, I can have it come off of my index card if I want to. So, it's going to be a little different this week. Um, it's going to be fun. So stick around. Uh, you'll obviously get to see, again, how my mind works. I'm going to be using a stamp. This cutout, this is from a piece of scrapbooking paper. It's raised. It's actually... I can't tell you the name of it or where I got it. It's been hanging around for a long time. But this here is the paper, and you can see how it's all bubbled and raised. And I just thought it would be just kind of fun to work with. So I cut out a part of the flower, and I'm making, I want to make um, French knots in each of the center flowers. Now, if I were to do this for a different type of project, I would put a backing um, on the back of this. But just seeing that it's just for uh, the index card challenge. You know, if I was doing it in my junk journal or if I was doing it in my scrapbook, I'd probably do it a little bit different. But I am not with this. So um, I'm just looking to see where I want to put my next. And I normally wouldn't do this either. It's to me, that's wasteful. But for this little tiny bit, I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm wrapping my thread. This is DMC. Um, cross stitch thread. I'm wrapping it three times and I have doubled it up. But I just want to add a little bit of color to this. So I thought it would just be fun to add some knots to this here. And there is one, there is one left. Um, there's one left right here. And I may not put one there because I have another, I have another idea. So I think that's good for the French knots. I used a little bit of orange. I wanted to pick up some uh, colors from these butterflies here. So I think this is going to be pretty easy. Now, I purchased, if you saw my haul, I purchased these, I did a haul video, craft haul, um, these Dinah Wakely stamps, and I, I've been dying to use them. So I chose this one face. This is the face that I chose right here. And I kind of have to 
before I stamp, I just want to make sure that this is all going to fit. And it is, okay. So I picked some paper here as a background. I have this here, and I have a little bit of this. So I just want to see just how I want to do this. Because I am going to be using some other stamps as well, and I want to have, I just want to make sure I have uh, I have room to put the stamp. And I don't even know that will be okay there. And on the bottom here, And I always like to leave because it is an index card. I do want to leave a little bit of the bottom down here. That. That's going to go down here. And I just want to say, yeah, I'll be able to put the stamp on this side. So, all right, let's just, let's go with this. Let's just try this here. Let's give it a go. So, again, I'm going to, I'm going to cut this down. Four. Ah, today I it to me it's been a real work day. I think it's just because I struggled with some of my videos, but um, yeah, today was just like a a crazy uh, like work day. It didn't really feel like. Um, Anything came real easy today for me. I don't know if I was working for, if I was working for a uh, company doing this. I don't know how productive my boss would have seen me be today. hanging over a little bit. Isn't this terrible how particular I am? And I expect my, my bell is in here um, hanging out and sleeping and my son is going to be home shortly and I'm just waiting. <laughs> I'm just waiting for her, both of the dogs to uh, bark and announce that he's home. Then I'll have to get up real quick and shut my door. Okay, so, see, that's what I'm talking about. So I have just a little bit just a little bit of wording at the top, just to give it a little different dimension. Just a little different dimension. This one we will put down here. And again, like I said, I like to keep um, where you see the index cards, or you see that it is an index card. I don't want to 
use my other scissors because they're they're getting glued and gunked up and I'd rather use my my older scissors for that. Okay, so there we have that and I'm going to um, I'm going to ink distress around the sides a little bit. I got a new app on my phone and I do like it. Um, can't I'm having trouble syncing my contacts to my phone. I had to get things changed out because the AT and T did something with the five G and all of that, and so that little noise that you heard that um, I can tell when my my son has my car today, so I know he's leaving the office. It's really cool because it tracks my car, and it tells me um, where it is where it's leaving. All right, so I did use stays on, but I think I'll use my VersaFine on this. And I'm going to have to, yeah, because I want it a little bit darker. I'm going to have to uh, figure out I think if I put it I want to stick it here because I want to be able to get a stamp on there. So I'm going to take my chances and this is where it's going to go. There we go. We have a lovely face on here, which I really like that stamp. You can do so much with it. So, this is going to be part of her, her dress. This is going to be at her neckline, this butterfly. When I was folding laundry today, I kept thinking... Anything with wings. I thought of airplanes, dragonflies. Um, I thought of a flying horse. I thought of Pegasus. I thought of the, what was it? Oh, it wasn't Shell. Who had the flying horse for gasoline? I thought of that. And then this is going to be part of her hat. And this I'm not going to stick down flat. I actually have, if I can find them, I just had them out here. And it looks like I'm going to have to grab another set. I have my, over there, I have my, my pop dots, my square pop dots. And this is what I'm going to use because I want this to be a little, have a little dimension to it. So I'm going to put these on here. And let's see if I put that like that. I need a couple more here. And one down here. One on the lead down here. Okay. So I have these here. Just peel these little tops off. I use this to hold to hold it down. Otherwise, these will rip right off. See how that just kind of comes up. I wanted to get outside too today. It's a nice day. We're supposed to get more rain and um, I didn't. So we are going to put, yeah, hold on. Bella just went running out of the room, so I just shut the door because I'm sure Daisy will come barking in all her glory. 
Okay, so um, so I wanted to add I wanted to add a butterfly here and I wanted to add I think I have another smaller um, I really don't want, I want a smaller butterfly. At first I was going to have her, I was going to have um, a headdress of butterflies. But I didn't want to go that route either. I thought that would be overkill. Um, and I really liked the idea of stitching on, on here. Um, So I think I will just add, I don't know if I want to go with the blue. Um, I like the darker, I like the darker colors. So I think that's what I'm going to go with right there. Glue half of that on, and then this, and I think I will put like that. So I'm just going to cover some of this here, and I'm going to put, I will put that like that. And then if I can fit my little stamp, I should have probably... Oh, I think that'll fit just right. I said, dear you, trust your wings. And I think that will be perfect right there like that. Um, so let's use some VersaFine. Now, if I screw this up, I've got this all done. I'm going to be really upset with myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this extra cut. I just want to make sure yep, how that's going to come out. So I'm going to take this I'm going to put it right here. Excellent. Yeah, I like this. This is fun. This is fun, fun, fun. So there you have it. There is index card number two for uh, Amanda's Create with Scrimping Mommy index card challenge for this week. And um, I have a book. Now, I have to take a picture of this first, but I have a book that I'm going to be putting these in. So what I can do is this. Bear with me. I'm just getting some picture, some photo tabs. And what I'm going to do, and I'm taking this cue from Liz over at Buttons and Brains when she um, did her card challenge, her, her card challenge with Amanda. I have this really sweet book, and I got it to journal in, but I'm going to be putting, I'm going to be putting my cards in here. Um all of my index cards. But again, because I do not want to, I do not want to adhere them in because I want to be able to take them out. I like that green right there. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put them in um, these little photo holders. And I'm going to use the black ones on these. And then that way, if I want to use a postcard, I can just pop it out of here. So I will put a little dab of glue 
on here. And then maybe someday I will replace these with photos. Four by six photos. So I'm going to place this first one right here, which I think will be quite lovely. And then I can go back and I can, um, I can put the date. I'll stamp the date. And I think that'll be... So there is, there's week one, and then week two, I can actually put right on here. That would be fun to place that one on there. So I'm not going to do that just yet because I do need to take a picture and post it, um, but I could, couldn't I? I could post it right here in, in this book. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I love that. I just really like it. So we have a little bit of everything. We have some collaging going on. We have uh, um, we have uh, some German butterflies. We have some stitching. So there you have it. And I like it against this, so we'll get this glued in here as well. We'll get that in place. That looks really cool there with the there so there is this week's um, index card and I just think it's really really cool I love these stickers or these um stamps and they just go so well with everything all right everybody well I hope you enjoyed this video it was a lot of fun I do have a lot of fun with these um, collage challenges. They're just very simple. They're to the point. Um, there's really nothing hard about them. So if you'd like to join the challenge, I'm sure it wouldn't be too late, or you could just do it on your own through the prompts here and make a post on your Instagram. Um, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see what next week brings. I can only imagine what prompt she's going to come up with. So thank you, Amanda, for giving everybody the opportunity to create in this challenge. It's really awesome. Thanks, everybody, and have a really good day. Bye-bye.